now you know. So today to teach your class is one of my all-time best friends. I don't have a lot of friends, uh, so it makes sense. I work with him every day, but he is one of the best, uh, not just teachers, but performers. Uh, his name is David Muth. Uh, he's been doing this for a long, long time. He'll tell you a little bit more about himself, but just wanted to give him a little fancy introduction here. So let me switch cameras here. And there is David Muth. Go ahead. What are we doing today? All righty. We're going to have a country fun shop here. And uh, the first song that I'll, I'll go through with you is San Antonio Rose. I'm using a uh, Texas toe tapper. And of course, naturally strings and, and harmonica and oh gosh, Chet's guitar and uh, a banjo uh, as well. And then uh, I've got one guitar that I'm using on one of the settings that I've added sustain to. Okay. And so let's see. Then we got country duet and piano and so on on it. And uh, so without any further ado do here, I think what I'll do is I'll play the song and see what it do sound like here, okay? A here's do, here's the intro. <laughs> okay. was triggered okay <laughs> and so now let's see here oh thank you okay and so now what i'll do is i'll just going to bring up the rest of my uh thing here on the there we go we go to one there and so now we'll try to so we're doing country music yeah, today. country music okay well now let's see uh, the first song that we're going to look at in this part of the uh, fun shop is uh, called Tumbling Tumbleweeds. Now, this particular song was uh, recorded by the Sons of the Pioneers and you know, way back when. Okay, And I'm using some special uh, harmony called Country Harmony. And definitely we'll have some fun with that because you'll hear some notes in the melody that are above the melody I'm playing. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. And so definitely country harmony, it encapsulates the melody I'm playing. Okay. 
up and b down below it and up above it and so on. And so, yeah, I'll be using, oh gosh, a style that I think you'll really like, okay? It's, it's called On the Trail, okay? Now, this has a special uh, setting in it that uh, allows you to hear horses clip-clopping along in the, uh, in the, ouch, okay. So how do you get in, to that screen? What did you press? Okay, what I did is I went and, and pressed the, uh, oh, let's style. see, the, yeah, the, yeah, to, the edit the style, okay? And so it shows that we're using strum guitar, picking guitar, and strings, and accordion, harmonica, and then the last one here, Orc Plus 4, it shows the, the, the horses, okay? Clip-clopping, and that's where you get it from. See, I can even turn them up and turn them down and so on, okay? And so when you listen to it, okay? You hear the clip-clops? So we hear the horses going along, okay? And so there you go. All right, and so we'll have we'll have some uh, you know sounds of the fiddles and harmonicas and and even gas <laughs> trigger. I know you want to get in on it. Okay, <laughs> so we have uh, you know some nice sounds in here, including vocal with the country harmony. Okay, so what we want to do is kind of listen to that, and then at the end of the song, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play along with the ending with my right hand. Okay, what I did is I listened to the ending, uh, you know, beforehand, and I hurry, da 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 da, and so I'm going to play right along with them in the ending. Okay, and so let's see what Tumbling Tumbleweed sounds like. Now, the Sons of the Pioneers, anybody remember them? Okay, I see people yeah. nodding, yeah. And, uh huh. Well, I got, I got news for you. My favorite cowboy, Roy Rogers, was actually a member of the Sons of the Pioneers and recorded the song with them. So here we go with the uh, tumbling tumbleweeds. One, two. He had to get in there, you know. Our cameraman's getting funny with the <laughs> instrument. Okay. All righty. So now what we're going to do is uh, go over to a song that uh, was written by Marty Robbins. Okay. Ooh. And so there we go. Uh, so Liz uh, sent a message to us that says, Nebraska here, loving this. So I think yeah. she's got the whole state of Nebraska watching. Oh, all right. That's great. Well, this particular song 
we're, we're going to be using a special style. And El Paso is in 3-4 times, so it's a waltz. Now, the thing we look at in here is that uh, when we're playing this along, this is a fast waltz. And you say, no, really? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. It's at 170 beats a minute. And so we're using Mexican 3-4. That's a style that uses, it has, uh, you know, definitely sound of instruments in the orchestra that are, uh, you know, definitely Mexican, okay, or Spanish. Should be called Mexican Trace Cuatro. Yeah, okay. And what we're going to look at right now is that this particular style, I've gone and edited the style, oh. okay. And so in case you're wondering what it is, I've got it up on the screen so you can see it, Okay. And so we take a look at the screen for Mexican 3-4. It has guitar and it has trumpets. But the accordion and the orchestral strings are turned off as well as the violins and strings. Those are going to stay off. But the accordion and the orchestral strings, if you watch, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the second setting. Watch what happens. Okay. And so the accordion Ooh. comes in. When I go to the second setting, wow, we got another style type instrument already added now i'm going to go to the third setting and we should see the orchestral strings turn on there it is Ooh, one by one okay so yeah and then we go to the fourth setting and i've added a violin in the right hand okay so definitely th this style is fun it's going to have you know those little maracas things that that, that they play in there and every time i hit a, a uh, drum fill you're going to hear the, the, the people with the, with the maracas. I think that's what they're called, maracas. They, they clap them together. And if you're wondering what they sound like, you, know, you just... Like that, okay? And so that's kind of fun. And so El Paso. Now, I'm going to read the song because I definitely haven't memorized it yet. Okay, <laughs> so in case you see me turning pages, you'll know why. Okay, El Paso. Let's see what happens here. Okay, and a one, two, three. One. style that it's a great way to grow a song yeah now that last setting did you notice we had a regular mariachi band in there with the trumpet and the flugelhorn and the the violin and, what and so on that? what style was that mexican three four yeah mexican that's the three, style four. mexican three four and the what name of the song was el paso what cat what category is under you mean what uh rhythm style button yeah Okay, let's see. 
That's okay. untraditional. It's untraditional. Yeah. Let me oh, show you here. Okay. Can I gotcha. let's see? Here, here, I'll put it on the screen so you can see it real quick. Here. Oh, yeah. traditional. Okay. okay. And so you have there that. You there we go. Traditional. Yeah, it's under traditional. You'll find it. It's the main Ooh. style on that on that this on, is on that the, particular section. Under yeah, traditional. The, on the traditional. A, on the A and S U. Traditional SU. on the screen. T R A D. On the upper left. Okay. All righty. Now. So I'll let's, pass under. Okay. Right here. And so. Now then, let's see. Oh, there's another song coming up here. And this is Blue By You. Okay. And so let's see here. Now, we'll, we'll just bring that up. There we go. Now, the song Blue By You was, let's see, that was written in 1961. Okay. I'm trying to remember who recorded that, but I'm, you know, drawing a blank. But well, Roy Orbison all... wrote it. Oh. Okay. We can always ask the audience if they know who performed Blue Bayou. Yeah, Blue Bayou. Okay. They're not sure. Okay. So, we're using a soft country. Linda Ronstadt. Oh, Linda Ronstadt, a couple people. Ah, said. there we go. Okay. That yep, sounds, that's yeah, it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Linda Ronstadt from Tucson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she lives. She lives in Tucson. You bet. Yeah, she takes classes at uh, the Fletcher Music. <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now, now the next thing you want to know about this, of course, is that uh, this particular style uh, has a a special sound effect in it. Okay, we don't need an exterminator here, but what you're going to hear is crickets. <laughs> Okay, so it sounds like we're, you know, it's evening time and the crickets are chirping. All right. It's, it also sounds like Jerome just said a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, all right. So we're going to use uh, some sounds in here called mellow guitar, country guitars, fiddles, and an electric strat. And you say, what is that? Well, it's a type of guitar. And not only that, in the song, we're going to use a transposer. Now, what that does is it takes your whole instrument, and you can either go up a half step at a time or down. We're going to go up, by the way, because that's about the best way to do that. Okay? And so we're going to uh, go through the song here and see. I'm even going to do a glissando during the ending to kind of, you know, get the song to end just the way I want. Okay? And so Roy Arbison's Blue By You. Okay, here we go. Oh, got to hit. Cue the ch uh, crickets. What about the other one? Oh, that's a that's a cymbal roll. Okay. There we go. I can't hear them, but I imagine they're in there. Okay, here we go.
Hey. Uh, you like that one? Hey, yeah. We're we having our first Oregon town meeting here in our Tucson, okay? Yeah, so looks like bear it. with us. I have to have a carry on mic. A what? Cue the crickets again, I think, for that. Oh. Was that a joke? <laughs> Cue oh, the funny. cricket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty. Well, now we'll, we'll go to a, another song here that, uh, of course, now while I'm getting that ready here, you might have a, maybe a question or two yeah, any questions about that so far? last song. Now, did everybody hear the change in, in uh, key signature where it went up in pitch? on that third setting. Yep, and somebody asked in the, the chat here how many ups, and he just went from standard, kind of like that C C key, and then went to, to C sharp, C -sharp mm -hmm. halfway through pretty much. Yeah, yep. C sharp. And of course I was using a switch on the volume pedal that might be interesting to you called the glide. And it really makes your guitars and things, you know, come alive as if somebody's actually standing there playing the instrument. Or that's what it's meant for. Okay. Now, oh boy, hey, we've got a we've got a uh, a song coming up here that was recorded by Charlie Pride. He joined the uh, Grand Old Opry in 1990. And uh you know, he was definitely until uh, the time that he passed, definitely a, a wonderful uh, influence on country music. And so what I like to do is play his song that uh, was recorded way back when, Kiss an Angel Good Morning. We're using country rock. Country, yeah, we found it under a rock. <laughs> yeah, okay, and of course, uh, that we're going to do that at 116 beats a minute. Not too fast, but we'll have sounds in this particular song like Honky Tonk Panano, and 50s guitar and oh gosh all sorts of things plus we'll even change our our bass pattern and we'll be using a type of harmony on this 50s guitar called fourths and fifths oh also you known might as call it rock harmony yep, i think rock harmony also, okay yeah. and so this this particular one is is kind of fun okay and so we'll go ahead and see what it do sound like Yes, sure, Eva. Oh, uh, yes, okay. He's got to be in on it. <laughs> Trigger, that is. Okay. So, let's get busy here. Hmm. Okay, now I Now, need... country rock, which button is that under? Is that okay. country or rock? Uh, let me see if it'll come up. That's soft country. Ah, there we go. Country rock is under... Let me just go here. Yeah, I can show okay. it on the screen here. Country Rock. You'll see it on the screen now, I'm pretty sure. Yep. It's and uh, it's on the lower left-hand side. Country Rock. In the rock Okay. Uh, yes. And so, let's see. Now, I just got to remember, the Honky Tonk Panano is down below. There we go. Panano. <laughs> okay. And so, let's have some fun with Kiss an Angel Good Morning. And let's see. Ben Peters wrote the song. Let's go for this one. Here we go. 1971. And a one, two.
Kiss an angel good morning. I definitely saw some people bobbing their heads to that uh -huh. one. Okay, so you remember that. That's good. That That's a good one. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's go to our, our last song here and see what we got. Okay. Anybody remember Hank Williams? Okay. Definitely yeah. Hank. Oh, okay, yeah. Hank Williams. And so now he wrote a song yeah. called Hey, Good Looking, oh, But like You Got that. Cooking. Okay. And so we're going to have some fun with this one. There's even a, a special sound effect in here that I that I put in there, and I'll I'll just demonstrate it for you. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> you know. Okay. So hey, good looking. Okay. And so hey, we're going to be using. Well, What's that? You got cooking. <laughs> How's about cooking something up with me? Yes, sirree. Okay. I thought I thought the original lyrics used to be, uh, uh, "How about cooking something up for me?" And I thought it was this whole song was about having somebody make a sandwich or something. <laughs> uh, that might be. Okay. So we'll be using country guitars and and a, a clean guitar. How about a pocket harmonica with duet harmony? We'll even use block harmony with the country guitars and see what that do sound like. Okay. And the the style that we're using on this one, there we go is Country Swing, and that's under Country One. It's up on the screen now, Country Swing, and we're going at 170 or 157 miles an hour, okay? Now, we have a, a question in the chat that says, how yes. do I get to that edit screen? So after you select a style mm -hmm. um, on your screen, on if you have two screens on the left side of the screen here, it'll say, click here to edit style, and right when you touch that, there we this go. opens up. That's what, it, yeah, it brings up the style to show you what's in there. Rhythm guitar, solo guitar, fiddles, and pedal steel guitar. If you're familiar with that, that's where they got a bunch of pedals down below to change the pitch on the strings. If you and have a, a single screen, such as, a, you know, Stardust or, you know, Royale or something like that, you might have to hit the clear button on the screen, you know, so then it kind of makes the, the rhythm styles go away, you know. Right. So hit the clear button and then look at the screen. It'll say touch here to edit style. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, it's on, on the left screen on here. Okay, I can get that. There we go. Screen. Okay. And so. Okay, so yeah, it should look like this. I'll put it back on the screen for you. There you go. Right. Now you can see it on the very top. It's a little hard to see, but it does say touch here to edit style. Yeah. So that's what the main mm -hmm. screen should look like. Okay, and so we'll just go back to the right. There we go. Okay, and so, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Okay, and let's see. That is in the key of C. Okay, here we go. I hope. Let's see. Yep. Okay, and so let's get the intro going.
All righty. Yay. Yay. Uh -huh. okay. Love that one. <laughs> yeah, let's see if there are any questions on anything he's talked about today. Anything at all. Anything he did yeah, that you're um, like, how do you do that? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Turn is it? <laughs> you go ahead, Marianne. <laughs> um, I was wondering, I have a legacy. Uh, will I be capable of getting any of these rhythm sets or styles that you mentioned for these songs? Is my uh, legacy that versatile? Yeah, you should, you should have uh, actually most of this rhythm styles he used today. You might just want to check the... Uh, your rhythm table at the at the back of your manual. Just make sure. Just look at for the ones that he mentioned. If you don't see it on there, then that might be one that's not, not there. there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So once in a while that'll happen. Yeah. Okay. Well, when I get back into my home, I will do that. Okay. And we do have uh, touch screen models available at our store here. So just give me a call. <laughs> Any. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to uh, invite every one of you to come to the store and we'll show you this in person if there's some questions that you have. By golly, come on over yeah. to Fletcher Music Center. Yeah, well, if, you're in Mesa, you're, if you're in Mesa, you can do that. If you're not, you have uh, probably a local store near you. And if you don't, call one of us and we'll see you online, right, on Zoom. So any other questions? Sean, um if you would sign my daughter up for next Thursday, I think Dave is having a concert okay. next Thursday. It's not next Thursday. I'll call you. Okay. I'll let you know what it is. All right. Any other questions uh, for Dave here? He's got a really good uh, finale lined up, too. He's gonna... I do. <laughs> yeah, you're going to play one more song at the end. Oh, well, I don't. <laughs> That's have... okay. Okay. Let me switch here, and I'm going to come in front of the camera here while he gets something ready. Let's see if I could turn this here without hurting myself. Okay. So oh, he's going to do one more song, a country song. Hang on just a second. Let's see. Okay. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to talk about a couple things before we wrap up. I uh, hope you got some good ideas for country music uh, to do at home there. Uh, got some ideas. I'm going to screen share a little bit. I just wanted to talk to you about just common things we usually do, plus something special. So let me show you this. Let me make sure this comes up. Can you guys see that on the screen? Whoops. Can you see that on the screen, our website? Nod yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Great, great. OK, so you probably all know by now, or most of you, this is the best way to access anything we do online here is this virtual classes and events button. Yeah. And on our website. And when you scroll down, um, you'll see all sorts of neat stuff. Our Conductor Magic class, if you know anybody, you can tell them about us, and they can try our classes for free for a limited time here. And then on the bottom, you have our full calendar of all our uh, extra offerings here. That's online stuff. Online stuff. So... One other thing is I'm going to go over here, and you'll see our Patreon website. I've gotten a lot of questions lately on what is Patreon. I, I still don't get it, and that's okay. So it's a website that's made for people like us, like Fletcher Music Centers. It's, called, it's, for, it's for content creators. And a content creator is just somebody who makes videos or does classes, anything online. And uh, basically, it's just a little kind of support system kind of thing. If if you want to become a patron, you can more or less just, you know, donate a certain amount every month here, and you get all sorts of bonus stuff that we do. So you get extra videos you can watch anytime you want. You can uh, see some of this stuff. You don't have to pay for anything. You get some free goodies here. Uh, but otherwise, you can join and unlock stuff. So just search right here. It says patreon.com slash Fletcher Music Centers. So I can put that in the chat in a minute, too. So if you want to copy and paste, you can do something like that. There's also this neat feature. Let me go to this. If you're a patron, this kind of comes up right away. But if you click this here, you can actually kind of separate all the stuff we do by whatever you want to see. Like if you want to see... Dave, they can hear you. Uh, everything uh, on here, you can kind of pick out what you want to look at. If you want to look at 
you know, SU series. If you have a Stardust or Royale, it'll put all of those videos together for you. Okay? And another bit of news that I'd like to, you know, announce is we're also going to release for Patreon members, we're going to release uh, actually an entire concert that we recorded of uh, Mr. Dave here. And uh, it is fantastic. You might not be able to see it from here, but he uses all 10 fingers. He uses all 10 toes. He uses his, you know, I don't, he doesn't use all 10 toes, but he uses the pedals. And we got that on video too. So it looks great. It's going to be fun. If you want access to that, just join us on there and you'll see it. It should uh, be released any, any day now. So uh, I'm going to turn it back over to Dave here. Let me turn his microphone back on and everything. I think I turned it down on accident here. Okay. Okay. So. Very good. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what the name of this last song is, but uh, let's see if anybody can, you know, get that when I play it here. Okay. And so here's a little bit of uh, bluegrass. Okay. And so a one, a two, and a... Anybody recognize that? Alabama Jubilee. <laughs> there you are. Alabama Jubilee. That's Alabama what I think of it at the time. <laughs> That's what it is. Sometimes Dave Alrighty. thinks of a song and then he realizes what the name is after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alabama Jubilee. Did a great job on that. Yes. Thank you. Very well, th good. Thank you for joining us today, and you all have a great rest of your day and keep looking for us online. Or in okay. store. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Dave. Thank, you. Thank, you, Dave. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. Thank you. All righty.